Did Andrew Mormon often send video messages to his sister Suzanne Morphew on her birthday? Is there precedence for this and could we view them please? I think Suzanne Morphew was very unsettled by the birthday message from Andy and I think she took two days to answer to it because she took it for what it was, a threat, and I don't think she knew what to do with it. In the birthday message, Andrew is thanking Suzanne and saying how supportive she is of her original family, the Mormons. However, we know Suzanne Morphew did not support the Mormon business. She supported her own nuclear family, her own nuclear family's endeavours in life and for their futures. She wanted to pursue her own business interests with her own money, with her own nuclear family. That involved real estate deals, the landscaping business, building dream homes at Longhorn Ranch. It didn't involve growing marijuana. It didn't involve investing her $500,000 in the marijuana business. And I feel that Andrew Mormon's video is rather spooky. It feels like a threat. Suzanne felt that she was being watched. Maybe she felt like she was being threatened. And maybe she thought that this was all coming from her own original family. The Mormon family. I've spoken about this before. I get nothing but trouble for it. But come on. If you were going to look open-mindedly at this case, if you're going to quote-unquote investigate the case of missing woman Suzanne Morphew, you must investigate all. You must look for motive and do as they say. Follow the money. Suzanne Morphew was worth more to bury Morphew alive than dead. Suzanne Morphew was worth a lot of money to the Mormons dead. She'd left their lives, so it's not like they were missing her physically. The idea of her, her input, her care, her love, her attention, because she certainly didn't seem to be giving it to them. There was a rift, a powerful rift. Was it because she was under pressure to invest her money? in the business and she just purely refused maybe that's why they ran away to colorado i don't believe suzanne was the victim of domestic violence or coercion from her husband at all in fact there is no evidence of that the evidence seems to come from the side of there being coercion and pressure psychological pressure etc from her very own original family the mormons so andrew mormon how often did you send a video message to suzanne how often did you go and see her in colorado oopsie daisy zero times how many times did you try and heal the rift other than on her birthday how many times did you try to see life suzanne's way why were you never accepting of Barry? I mean, he's probably pretty threatening to your masculinity. Barry and Suzanne Morphew had a really successful marriage by all accounts. Now, I know that marriages often break up after 30 years, 40 years. It, they do still break up at that time. And often it's the wife leaving the husband because... The husband's lost his verve and his vigour and they want to keep living and keep having new experiences. I know this because I know people in my own life that I've known throughout my life um, and have seen marriages go that way and it's always the wife leaving. Sometimes it's the husband leaving for a family friend but it's the wife leaving 
often for those reason I just the reasons I just cited that they still want excitement. Well, by Suzanne Morphew's very own admission, Barry Morphew brought excitement to their marriage. He made their lives exciting. I think Suzanne and Barry Morphew were on the same page with what they wanted out of life, how they wanted to live life, the success they wanted to have in life. I have questioned before, you know, did um, Suzanne not like the way Barry did biz? But I don't know. I think she trusted him. I think she trusted the way that Barry did biz. I mean, so you've got to look at all the facts. Are you are you just reading this book, Leonardo da Vinci, The Anatomy of Man? Um, or are you studying Grey's Anatomy? A more complete, modern and accepted tome, source of fact, sure information. What are you looking at to get your ideas on, on Barry Morphew and his guilt or innocence? What are you looking at when you're looking at this case? Are you just reading this one? might be interesting. It's very interesting because if you're interested in history, if you're interested in the development of the human mind and understanding, history, you need to read history. You need to not just look at this. You need to look at this. It's very well-rounded to do so. But just looking at this is not well-rounded. You need to understand how you came to this and this is what you need to look at. And are you being unimaginative? Are you having a one-tracked mind? Are you being brainwashed? People in the military know all about brainwashing, don't they? Because they've had it done to them themselves so that they can become killing machines. They know how to treat people as objects. They know how to objectify. That's what they're taught. People that are in the military, like the Marines, for example, they are taught to see 